Thank you, John and Helen. Last week, we kicked off the culture series by defining what culture is. Today, we're discussing the difference between culture and tradition. John and Helen already started off the conversation by asking, what is tradition? And then looking at the similarities and differences. I'm now going to attempt to understand better my Nigerian culture. And to help me with this is Obagbenga Shonuga, Fadeshewa of Shimawa Makun Shagamu. Obagbenga Shonuga graduated from the University of Ibadan in 1971, mm. worked with Dimasun Woko at his New Culture Studios in Ibadan for 10 years, and then became the director for Lagos State Council for Arts and Culture from 1984 to 1993. But most importantly, he's my dad. Welcome, Kabiesi. Thank you. Ki adekpelori, ki bata pelese, kabiesio, alaye lua. As you can tell, my Yoruba is not as smooth as it should be, but this is where cultural transition comes into play. So we'll talk about that very soon. Right. When my father became an Oba, I didn't know how to address him in private or in public. Because like the Queen of England, everyone, including her immediate family, must curtsy or bow to her. But I asked and was schooled. So in public, I greet him as an Oba, and in private, as my dad. We have 25 minutes, and in that short timeline, I'm going to try very hard to unpack culture versus tradition, as this is something him and I have debated countless times over the years. So, getting right to it, what is culture, tradition, and heritage? Well, thank you, uh, fellow. Well, let's go straight into the subject matter. Okay. Culture is not tradition, and tradition is not custom. Custom is what you are used to after you've come into this world. And custom is what becomes culture? Mm. No, uh, custom does not become culture. Cul uh, custom, custom does not become culture. Okay. Because cu custom is what you are used to, okay. or a group of people okay. are used to doing. Okay. Mm. Uh, they celebrate their marriage in a particular way. Uh, if the people generally do something they are comfortable with, so that something not, that is custom is tradition. No, that right. eventually becomes the tradition. People we used to do it this way, and we must keep doing it that way because it suits the psyche of the of the group of people, not one person. Okay. But culture is dynamic. Okay. We are with culture every day and it changes. When we say it is dynamic, it changes from generation to generation and it changes from country to country. Hmm. But what is important is that it must involve a group or community okay. identified as one indivisible whole. Like how there is the Nigerian culture versus the Japanese culture? No. There is no culture which goes versus any culture. Okay. The totality of your own particular existence, how you govern, what you eat, how you dress and all that, makes the culture of a nation. Okay. But, but without a nation or a community agreeing and doing this cultural thing together, mm -hmm. then it's not, it can be a fad, it can be a fashion which comes and goes, mm. it could be anything. But what guides that nation, mm. you know, in uh, cultural values mm -hmm. is what they do right. So then, what is then tradition and heritage? Your heritage is what you inherit, the totality. If it's a house, if it's a horse, if it's your father's big abada, mm. and things you, you yourself appreciate and hold there, mm. it becomes your heritage. Okay. The ones we do not want 
or need, you you get it in. Okay. But you must like what you are doing, you know, before you accept that it is your heritage. Usually people avoid the bad parts mm. and pick the good parts. That's how culture develops. Right. The culture will take what is good in its habits, in its tradition, in its customs, and packing it for the present day. And it's, there's intellectualism also involved. There must be a, a people, a group of people who think, mm. who develop a cultural agenda, a cultural policy okay, before the, you have a okay, culture. Okay, so the, the intellectual ability to strategically develop the culture of a people. Well, you couldn't put it, I couldn't put it better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, but then tradition, you still haven't said what tradition is. Tradition is, like I said, custom is what you are comfortable with, you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Your tradition is what the, the group, the community, mm. the nation mm. accepts as what they were born into and, and must, be, must be defended. Uh, the way of life, the aspects of it that must remain. Mm. Some people need to defend it all through. If it's going off, mm. then they are responsible for planning how to convince the people involved what that culture, mm. like most people will talk about the culture of Omoduabi in Yoruba language. Okay. But if you say Mutumun Kriki in Aousa, Okay. It is understood that this is a good, solid fellow. Can you say that again, please? Mutumum Kriki. Right, I've learned a new thing now. Now, also, if the woman wants to say this is a good man, he says he, uh, he refers to a Kenga. So, everybody has that concept of who the good man is. Or, or the woman. Or woman. Or thing. Yes. You know, what it is. And it is a consensus built over years. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I understand that. So in, in a nutshell, what you're saying is culture is dynamic and changes over time. Right. Whereas tradition typically says the same, but still changes Slower. over a longer timeline. That's but cool. heritage is something that you are given or you acquire you from generation to generation. Yeah, that you, you inherit. inherit. That, okay. That's important in our okay. okay, I understand that. So if we were to look at the Nigerian culture, can you very quickly explain it to us? Well, the Nigerian culture cannot be quickly explained, okay. but we will try to see our way clear. Okay. There is no Nigerian culture yet. We are in the process of negotiating it. Please explain that, because a lot of people will disagree with you. Well, it's not a matter of agreeing or disagreeing. Because when a woman gets pregnant, for instance, mm -hmm. maybe that will lead us onto the true meaning of culture in its modern sense. Mm -hmm. You cannot be asking the woman, do you have a child? And she will tell you yes. Oh, but they are the beginning of a child. Mm -hmm. You know, then when the fetus begins to grow, mm -hmm. now it is obvious that she will deliver. And the greetings are all over, sorry, and all that. Mm -hmm. You cannot be asking at that point, what is the name of your child? Okay. The child is not born yet. Okay. There's every potential of a, a child coming into the world. But before, we wouldn't know whether it was male or female, you know. Well, technology has changed that. It has changed that, so you know, but you can't do anything about it. A lot of people know their children's name before they're born. They, they give their children names because yeah. they know who they What I'm saying is that whether you give the child a name or not, they, there won't be a child until that child is born. Okay, so how are you relating that to the so, Nigerian culture? That, we are supposed to have a Nigerian culture. Okay. But 
when you consider culture in its proper dimensional meaning, it is cultural development. Meaning, you, if you refine your way of life, then you are a cultured, a cultured people. It's a process. So you don't jump today, up, jump up today and say, my culture has changed. I still Even, don't understand what you mean, though. Because what we are saying is that Nigeria is in the process of negotiating a culture. As opposed to the traditional groups that came together to form Nigeria. Nigeria has not been built as a nation yet. We have issues. There are laws, there are decrees, and mm -hmm. all that. These are all processes of developing a culture. So when they say Nigerians are known for their bravery, mm -hmm. for their courage, mm -hmm. for their... And then some people say, uh, we also know them for their corruption. Mm, for 419. Uh -huh. mm. So you cannot now say that is Nigerian culture. People struggle to say, of course, they are the bad eggs and all that, but Nigerians are this or that. Mm -hmm. Whatever they are, when it is sustained over time, becomes the country's culture. But you need to build the country first together with its culture. Mm. Whatever you find as tradition and custom, mm -hmm. you have to build the nation first. The nation needs to arrive you know, before the culture. So what I'm understanding from what you've just said is Nigeria is still in its infancy stage. Well, don't you think so? Some countries or nations have existed for 600 years, 500 years. What would you now say they are? You know? And yet, you can say this is the culture of the Germans. Hard work, like reflected in the Aga Mercedes Benz. The French have a finesse. The Citroen is a slick car. You know, it, has, it rises on its hinges before driving. The Japanese build practical cars, you know. But all these come from a certain intellectual process which is applied to people. It does not apply to goats. And goats can be goats forever and ever. Mm. But people can change mm. their manners, what they do collectively mm. by cultural development. This also entails a mental prowess, okay. which must be concretized. You said it in your definition about strategic arrangement of thinking. Mm. You, I, I said you couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I got to remember what I said. Yeah. Okay, so again, Nigeria is still in its infancy. What that tells me is what you are saying to the average Nigerian is don't be too hard on yourself. We are still developing our unique identity. We are still defining and refining what our culture is. As Nigerians. As Nigerians. But the different ethnic groups have their more tradition. solid cultures based no, no, on their tradition. No, no, they have traditions. their tradition, they have their customs. Okay. You know, and they were not a nation. Okay, so this is as a result of the different ethnic groups being brought together to form a nation they must. and then decide what their identity, collective identity is. Yes, you know, and if they had done that, uh, instead of doing that only for the political process, mm. if they had, there had been a cultural program in place 60 years ago, mm. you and I would not be talking of so many of the problem, human problems mm -hmm. we have now. Mm -hmm. I will accept anybody from any part of Nigeria mm -hmm. as my brother mm -hmm. and, or sister, mm -hmm. rather than a stranger, mm -hmm. uh, somebody coming to take what I have. We all have it. Mm -hmm. But we are preaching that, governments are preaching that now, mm -hmm. because there is a problem. Mm -hmm. People are beginning to see each other as not being their brother's keepers, and then there's infiltration also. So suddenly we are thinking, ah, if you are saying this is a stranger, 
What of the other guy who just came from outside of the nation? So we are beginning to see a difference between internally displaced persons and refugees. A refugee is displaced from between country and country. Mm. The internally displaced are within their own country, but they are refugees. I see. Do you believe that we can become a nation that has a unified culture based on multiple traditions? Because that is part of the thing that we're grappling with. We have different traditions. Yes, that's exactly what Nigeria is having as its greatest problem. And like I said, if when I was born, mm -hmm. there was no Nigeria. I'm 15 years older than Nigeria okay. now. So, but the concept of Nigeria is acceptable to me mm. because with the size and with the variety of people, when I look at the various cultural, uh, traditional uh, uh, values that they bring together, Nigeria is potentially a great country. But we have to work at it. We have to be developed. Brainy people, intellectuals. For instance, cultural development is not taught in any university or anywhere. There is nobody telling you that if you study philosophy at the university level, you will now go and think out a philosophical approach to Nigerians' problems. But that is the way it may go sometimes. Mm. So unless we have a body of thinkers mm. who are not basic in their you know, focus, but who are wanting to tell us what if, when we do it collectively makes us great. I hear you, but I disagree slightly because it's not just, it takes, it takes two to tango. Yeah. So on one hand, yes, we need to have a body of thinkers, which we do. But on the other hand, we also need to have receptors. We need to be willing to take the advice that has been given to us by these intellectuals. So we have to work together as a unit to even make progress. Yes. So there is no disagreement. There must be people who are what you call leaders of thought. Yes. There must be people who are called government officials. Yes. They are traditional rulers. Yes. So all we are saying is that these specialized people do not set out to win elections or to insist on forming parties mm -hmm. that will lead mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. to be in charge of the treasury when they, when they get there eventually. Mm -hmm. They are thinking of issues that will solve the nation's problems. So they are the strategists. No, and rather not necessarily. Than Okay. They, they can be theorists. Okay. And they say things that are looking weird and Outlandish. impossible. But when they begin to say step by step how they got to that thinking. Okay. The uh, practitioners, uh, the developers, the strategists can take over. Right. And right. strategize right. in the right direction. What, what you've just described is a well-oiled corporate organization that has been around for years, that has all these different people in different departments working together for the same objective, which is awesome. But in the interest of time, there is one very important question that I want to ask you. And that is, what advice would you give to mine and the younger generation on how to preserve our culture and our tradition? Well, <laughs> the first step is that you didn't know what it means to preserve a particular value when they don't know anything about it. Of course, the first step they have to take is to understand their culture. But you've just said that Nigeria does not have a culture. Yet. Yet. So, but there is tradition. When you now look at a piece of tradition and you dismiss it as nonsense, did you bother to ask or to think, now why is it nonsense now, when our own fathers started it? Now, 
I take the Yoruba culture again because basically you have to start from your own background mm. to even go anywhere, mm. even in Nigeria. Okay. Why did people in Yoruba land, why did they have to prostrate for an elder or for the other or whoever? Mm -hmm. Whether it was right or wrong, how many people still do that? Number two, how many people have thought, well, if I'm not going to prostrate, uh, I will put my hands behind my back, you know, and bow very, very low. Everybody just says, it, you cannot, if you are not, you shouldn't be prostrating. You know, it's not hygienic. Uh, in any case, it's true it's survival. It's archaic. It's, um, well, those are some So, just simple, a simple thing. But if it has been crafted over time, Mm -hmm. That yes, you may not necessarily prostrate for an elder, mm -hmm. but when you are before an elder, for instance, yes, you do have to observe some kind of respect. Okay. If a hooligan there comes in here and then and decides, you know, to say no, no, get off your throne. What, what, what are you doing, asking me to do? Everybody will now collectively correct that person because that is what has been the basis of what people are doing. Mm -hmm. Now, I agree with you to delve into this area of cultural development mm -hmm. is a difficult one. But what is easier is the, it's not culture as culture, but culture as cultural development. As a nation, grows, nation. The process of becoming a nation cannot be jumped. You will need to go through either a war or a revolution to become a nation. Mm -hmm. The alternative to that is cultural development, where you grow to be a nation by a process of refinement, mm -hmm. which says this is good, this is not good. This is great, this is not great. Okay, okay, I, I, I understand that, but, but I still want me, Oluwa Feromi, yeah. my generation, the younger generation, I still want us to be able to take something away that we can use to become better human beings and better citizens tomorrow. What is that thing? Well, it's change. Change your attitude, change your behavior, change your, the negative things that you know, these old people you are talking about, the older generation, mm -hmm. have scolded you about. But what if it's that the older generation are myopic in their thinking, which is what a lot of younger generation believe? Can they believe? be as myopic as not knowing that stealing other people's property is not good? Can they be so uh, undeveloped that they do not know that it's better to work hard and to build a house and to build you know, a fortune rather than stealing it. There are basic principles of life anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. If more people are stealing or killing, who will they be killing? But what if does it, this have to do with tradition or but, culture? Well, I'll tell you. If you used to do it one way, mm -hmm. And we know collectively that somehow the nation in which we are growing has decided collectively to change. Mm. And you continue in the way you are. I feni peni, I feni peni. No more ara oku samba ante wodu. English, please. Yes, this means that not being aware of change, not being aware of refinement. It's what makes the fellow who lives in the, in the farm or the village come into town in his underpants. He, he comes because in the village, he goes about wearing his underpants to work, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Then you, he goes into town in his underpants. And he and stands he, up like he, a sore thumb. And he's not aware, and mm. he's not aware that he's not. And he's the odd one out. So to form that opinion of saying, you do not walk half naked into a market. 
our people now, they have done it before. When they see a lady as coming with too short a skirt and whatever, the raw townspeople in the market will start throwing insults at the person. And, or even, if possible, rotting potatoes. But that's wrong. Yes. But the person who wears a mini skirt to go to the market is unaware. And we, meaning, even if he's not committing a crime, mm -hmm. by the time they show resentment to what that person is doing, and you just say, I don't care, uh, I will do it anyway. This, this has to be with society. Uh, well, it's a clumsy thing for the cultural aspect, but there has to be an understanding through sociology, you know, and all the rest of it. Yes. People come together to form a group for certain reasons. People come together to form a nation for certain reasons. And if those reasons are not achieved, there cannot be a nation. Okay, I still do not feel like I have something so, I can hold on to to help me become a better Nigerian. Good. You can start with yourself. Okay. I've said that before. Okay. You know, maybe because I said change. Mm. If you know what is right and what is wrong, mm -hmm. will you of your own from today change every system that you know is wrong? Okay. Can you? Okay, I, I see what you mean now. So the way I would summarize that is to say that with the traditions that we have, we need to look at the traditions of the generations before us, take the things that we believe are good and wise and helpful to our personal development, and then build on that. Yes, development being the issue. Okay. You develop and you grow naturally, you develop strategically. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so mm. much. That has been really insightful. I didn't think we would have enough time, but mm. I hope in the short time we have, we've been able to capture a lot. So, Kabiasi, thank you so much for sharing your wealth of experience with us today. You're welcome. And with all our conversations, this has been very interesting. I can't wait to dig deeper next week. I will be sitting with a famous musician next week and we will be taking this topic to the next level when we look at the other elements of it. To find out who he or she is, follow us on our social media handle at Plus TV Africa or at Ferro Shonoga Owotomo for more information. Thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you next week. Up next is our fitness segment.